In the first experiment, a single straw acting as a beam was fixed at the ends using pins and water was loaded until failure of the beam. Now, we made a truss out of the same straws. Again, we started to load the truss by attaching a string to the center of the base just as we had done in beam. Weight started from 100 ml using a weighing scale. The truss was supported by two pinned connections at the ends of the base. Then we kept on increasing the weight until the failure of the structure. A few points that we observed during this experiment are First, it failed from the thread due to which this experiment had to be repeated. It failed from the thread because it was just a single layer thin thread which was then changed to a few layers of thread on the next try. Next, we observed that this truss took much more weight than the single beam. Just to provide some perspective, the single straw beam failed at just 700 ml, whereas the truss didn't even move at 2.7 liters. Let us now try to understand the free body diagram of this truss. At the first point, we have a downward force due to the bottle and also we are getting reaction force through the pins. So coming back to our initial point, we must have an upward force to balance the downward force at the point. Let us move to the topmost node where again we have a downward force which must be balanced by upward forces. But here we have two inclined straws which need to provide this force in this way. The resultant of these two forces will stabilize the downward force on this node. Now let us see the points on the sides. We first have two opposing forces in the downward directions which are being balanced by the reaction forces due to pins. The component of the downward black arrows has to be balanced in the horizontal direction also. Looking at the free body diagram, it is clear that we have a zero member. So we should get the same result after removing the zero member and which is what was done. And the results were as expected.